Hello, this is Maggie, and someone asked me if you could find a check note. If you didn't know a check note for an interval, how do you find it? Well, I have one way that I think is very easy to explain, so I'm going to explain that right now. If I want to find a check note for a CDC octave measured at the 4 to 2 coincident partials, meaning the fourth one from the lower note, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the second one from the upper note, uh, the coincident partial would be here. For, C5 from a C3 to C4 octave, the 4 to 2 coincident partials at C5. So we find the coincident partial first by plotting up the harmonic series from the notes we're tuning. Then we go backwards and we flip the harmonic series upside down. This doesn't happen in nature, but it gets you to the note you want. And you follow it downward until you find a note that will create a fast beating interval with the notes you're measuring. So we're going to go down an octave. Then we're going to go down a fifth, then down a fourth. Now here's a major third. Now a major third is a fast beating interval. It creates a major third here and a major tenth here. So if these are equal beating, this has a coincident partial here. We know that because if you plot the harmonic series downward upside down, every note you touch will have this as a harmonic in some way. So this, 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 these three notes have a coincident partial right here. If I make that, if I make this major third and major tenth equal beating, I know I have a four to two octave. So what about a six three? So one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So my coincident partial's here. Let's plot the harmonic series down. Octave, fifth, fourth, major third. There's our check note. So if I create, make this minor third and major sixth equal beating, I will have a six three octave. On a side note, this only works if the check note is either outside the interval and both are wide, or the check note is inside the interval and one is narrow and one is wide. Otherwise, it's it's not going to give you an accurate measurement. I kind of explained that in a different video, so I'm not going to get into that here. Let's look at an 8-4 octave. If we want to measure this at the 8th and 4th partials, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is our coincident partial up here. And I'm going to start going downward now, inverted harmonic series, octave, 5th, 4th, major 3rd. So if I want to measure this octave at the 8th and 4th coincident partials, an 8-4 octave, I would measure this minor 6th and this major 3rd. And that will tell me if I have an 8-4 octave, if it's wide. It's, if they're equal beating, it's an 8-4 octave. I didn't do a 2-1 to one octave first because I wanted to make this very clear about plotting downward. So let's look at a 2-1 now. So a 2-1, 1-2, one, one, and then 1, the coincident partial is the upper note. That's why I didn't do this one first. So we're going to plot downward from here, octave, 5th, 4th, major 3rd. So this note down here, if you made those equal beating, this would be a 2 to 1 octave. So that's how you find a check note. Let's do it with a 5th. Um, I happen to know a 5th has a ratio of 3 to 2, but if we didn't know, we just simply count up. And you keep going, but one, two. We know there's a coincident partial here. The third from here and the second from here. This is the coincident partial for a three to two fifth. Let's plot that downward from this C. Let's plot the harmonic series downward. Octave, fifth, fourth, major third. So this is the coincident partial for this fifth measured at the third and second coincident partials. If that were to be equal beating, it would be a three to two fifth. Let's try a six to four fifth. One, two, three, four, um, five, sorry, six, and then one, two, three, four. So this is our coincident partial for a six, four, fifth. Uh, if I plot the harmonic series upside down, downward from here, I have octave, fifth, fourth, major third. Look where we are. If I make these minor third, major third, if I make that equal beating, then I have a sixth, four, fifth. On a side note, notice I'm always landing on the major third. That's the way it works most of the time. So the coincident partial from your check note is often the fifth partial from the check note. So one, two, three, four, five. It's often the fifth 
partial because it creates that major third, a fast beating interval. So let's let's look at a fourth. Let's do F to B flat. A fourth has a ratio of four to three. One, two, and if I didn't know that, you can figure it out by plotting up the harmonic series. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. So if we want a check note for this, let's plot the harmonic series downward. Octave, fifth, fourth, major third. Okay? So if we made those equal beating, that would be a four to three fourths. I'm gonna do something on the spur of the moment here that I didn't plan, let's see how it goes. What's the next coincident partial in a fourth? We don't use it because it's too high up, but let's see what it is. That's going up eight, now let's look here. It'd be here. So the check note for the neck for an eight to six four, fourth, oh my gosh, I've never done this before. Go down an octave, go down a fifth, go down a fourth, go down a major third. So, those were equal beating, it would be <laughs> an eight to six fourth. However, when we get up that high, it's starting to get a little hairy um, and we don't need a fourth that wide. So it really doesn't matter. We don't need a fourth that wide. But if you wanted to, that's how you would do it. So I just did it in real time just now. I figured out how to measure um, a fourth at the second coincident partial. And you can do that with any slow beating interval. That's how it works. I'm going to add a quick explanation on the end here. So the reason you want a minor interval on the bottom and a major interval on the top, if the note is with, within, or major on the bottom, minor on top, you want a major and a minor interval within as your check intervals for the larger interval you're measuring because you want to be able to move one of the notes and the relation... You want to be able to move that check note and the relationship stay the same. I've talked about this in another video, but with this octave, if I move this, if I have a 6-3 octave and I move this note, this minor third and this major sixth will stay equal beating regardless of where I put that note. It doesn't have to be in tune, and that's what you need for a check note. So outside here, if I have a 4-2 octave, it doesn't matter if this note's in tune. No matter where I move this note, these will stay equal beating. And that's what you need for a check note. So that's why if the, like with a fifth, if the note outside of the fifth, um, I can put this note wherever I want and it will keep the, the same relationship. Inside the fifth, I can put this note wherever I want as long as the beats are easy to hear and the relationship stays the same. But anyway, that's in another video. I just thought I'd go over it real quick. If you have any questions about that or anything else I've talked about, uh, if I made a mistake, <laughs> I'm giving prizes for mistakes, don't forget. Um, and I hope this was helpful to someone who was interested in this subject. If you like my channel, uh, subscribe, like my videos. I appreciate y'all very much. I do have fun doing this. I'm gonna get back to it in earnest very soon. Yay! And happy tuning. Bye-bye.